Welcome everybody to Games Cast by Panda in a Row. If you wish to see more comedy games, please follow my YouTube and Twitch pages below. On the blue team, we do see a Shaco in the jungle, Zin Zhao up top, Corky Janna down bottom, and a Sindra in the mid. For the red team, we have an Elise up top, Akali in the mid, Israel Lulu down bottom, and a Ramus in the jungle. This will be the, one of the first Ramuses I've seen in this new jungle. And I think he'll do pretty well, especially because his team needs a nice tank and initiation abilities. And there's not a whole lot that's really going to stop him outside of running into a Shaco box or having Syndra just blow him up the second he tries to run in. There's not that nice knockback that'll push him away or a real reliable stun to just keep him away once he starts powerballing in. I like that pick for this map. The score is 0-0 as we approach the 3 minute mark of this featured ranked game. Nothing big happening other than the fact Shaco has not picked up a kill yet. Zen's out jumping in on Elise, though Elise trading fairly well with Zen, as all those minions and spiders doing a whole lot of return damage, and Zen was not prepared for that, as Elise does flash forward, and she will pick up first blood here, thanks to the Neurotoxin, dealing just a good bit of damage. Looks like Janet and Lulu are just going to trade a little bit of harassment down bottom. Though I'm kind of surprised Sendra hasn't put a lot more pressure on Akali at this point. Graham is coming in for a gank, and his powerball will run out just in time. Though Syndra does get a flash away, and that's a lot of damage on Syndra. Though Shaco comes up here, and looks like Shaco will not pick up this kill on Akali, as both of them get very low. Looks like Shaco is going to run up here and try and get Ramus, as Shaco did steal the red buff away from him, which does do a good bit of hurt, but Janna's taking a good bit of hurt as well. Looks like Ramus is going to be fighting in this jungle, and he is in a bit of danger, though he does flash over the wall, and he should be okay thanks to the slow from the Akali shot, but no, Shaco with a two-ship poison all the way up from max range, picking off Ramus. And this Ramus is in a lot of trouble now, as he's not going to have a jungle to farm, and he's, uh, interestingly enough, gone for the Maldred's Razor. I would have thought he'd gone for the Spirit Stone of the Ancient Golem, like we see pretty much every single ganking jungler go. You pick up the Spirit Stone early, then go into Boots of Mobility, and pick off that tenacity from the Spirit Stone of the Ancient Golem later. I really thought he'd go with that, but instead he goes for the early armor, and slightly faster jungle clear. You can see Zinzao going back for boots and the crystalline flask, in addition to a bunch of potions up top. As Elise should be able to beat him fairly handily in lane, though they are even on CS. That one kill early is the big difference here. Elise has picked up a Duran's ring. We do have Shaco picking up his Madrid's razor at this point, just going for that nice farm build. Looks like Ramus is coming in here, but he is knocked away by Syndra. And Akali is in trouble, though she will use her shroud to escape as she does run along the side, but she is spotted out. Zinzao is coming in here, and Zinzao will be able to pick up this kill, or Shaco. But this is a dead Akali. Yes, Shaco does pick it up, but no assist granted. She did stall long enough to not get the assist granted. Looks like Shaco will likely try and kill Ramus here, but Ramus does run away at the last second. And the blue team is not in a position to really go back there and chase. He's going to try and kill Israel here. Looks like Janna and Corky are now going to go try and chase. As Janna does a nice job of knocking up Shaco, deceiving right in front of that power ball. And this Ramus is dead again. Not doing a good job this game. Looks like Israel might get taken down as well. Though he does arcane shift away just in time. Lulu flashing at the last second. And the tower will be able to pick up Corky. So that overall that was actually a good trade. Trading Ramus for Corky, I'd take that trade. Especially Ramus, who is on a death spree. So Shaco's coming up here. And will get the kill on Ezreal, but trading his own life. That's also another good trade. Ezreal gets a shutdown. Not what you want to see happen if you're Shaco. Losing your buffs. But the big thing is here is the buffs got transferred to someone who's dead. So Ezreal will not be able to use him to snowball the lane any harder. As Corky is up 16 CS at this point. And the blue team is up 400 gold. Mostly thanks to that for... Mostly thanks to that just being a little bit better in kills and farming a little better in most of their lanes. As Sindra is up 7 CS at this point. Though Zin Zhao is down 14 and that's a big 14 on Elise. As Elise's job is to win the lane and pressure that lane until it drops. Looks like Shaco is going to come up top try and get Elise as Elise is spotted out by this nice ward here in the brush. The question is will Elise run away or will she just continue to stay in this brush? I think she's just going to sit there and wait. 
So Kali does jump in on Syndra, but not much happens. At least coming out to harass Zen. As she will try and trade, but this is not a good trade, though she does jump up. And will she land back down? Yes, she does. Right into the Shaco box. Meaning she does go down and does not trade because her ignite was used early instead of saving it for late. And that's exactly what Zen Zhao needed. He will catch up on CS completely at this point. And should be in good shape for the rest of the game now. As he will get a small advantage on to Elise. Elise has opted to go for the Sorcerer's Shoes in addition to Single Doran's Blade. Shake, or, excuse me, Ram is taking his blue buff. Looks like Corky down bottom is getting zoned out thanks to the fact Janna had to go back. Lulu has picked up a floss for stone and boots. Looks like Ramus is coming in here for a gank down bottom. And will he be able to get in range? He does get in range of Janna. Gets a taunt off. And big damage being thrown out. But will he go down as well? Yes, he will. Transferring that blue buff over to Corky. Though Corky is not in good shape at this point. Will Israel pick it up? Yes, he will. Though Israel will go down to the tower. As Lulu misses her ultimate somehow. And that's a good trade. Almost. As both carries come out pretty good for it though Lulu might go down to Shaco here but she does get feared in the proper direction though Shaco will not be able to slow her much longer and Shaco does receive her the wall and this will be a dead Lulu making that trade not very worth it as it is a three for one now looks like Zin Zhao is trying to steal some jungle as Akali jumps in will she get in range looks like no as Cinder is coming here for the nice block at least does try and throw out the stun but not in range as Elise is going to try and jump on Zen, but Zen wisely is just continuing to run all the way down the map at this point and into the arms of Janna. Looks like Elise is caught out here as Ramus does run up, flashes in, taunts the Shaco, but the fear does keep him away. Though there's the stun and the kill by Elise. As Elise is really wrecking this game. And it looks like she's not content to stop there. Looks like Shaco, it looks like Ramus is going to actually run in, go for Corky here. But Ramus is in trouble as the ultimate does come out from Janna. And the ultimate from Israel does go across and pick up Corky. Though Ramus is trading his life again. But that is a good trade for the red team as this kill score is evened up 9 to 9. And the game is basically even with a 300 gold difference in the teams. Looks like we do have a first dragon of the game going to go to the red team. There's no way that it's going to go anywhere else unless Seiko can deceive across and steal it. But I'm not sure he even realizes it's there. And he's not even going to be close to there in time. And that doesn't mean the red team is taking the lead in this game. The big thing the red team needs to do right now is back up and accept the fact we're going to lose a little bit of lane presence to buy up items and be stronger. As the, lanes are, as the blue team needs to push out their lanes at this point and really kind of focus. As they kind of lost it there in that last fight. Just being a little greedy, being a little greedy, trying to pick up a few extra kills. Just, they could have easily just traded Zen Zhao up there and only lost one instead of losing three or four people throughout that entire fight. Shaco has completed his Riggles Lantern in addition to the Berserker's Grease. We do have Zen Zhao Lifey going for a Warmongs. After we get the Crystal on Flask Scan Boots, Corky with a Brutalizer and Vampiric Scepter in addition to the Berserker's Grease. Janna picking up all of these early game support items with the Sight Stone, Philosopher's Stone, and Kage's Lucky Pick. Syndra has picked up a Doran's Ring, Blasting Wand, and a little bit of Magic Resistance for that No Magic Mantle. Corky taking a ton of damage down bottom. And Israel is actually getting trading fairly well. Israel is going for that early Bloodthirster, having picked up the BF Sword and Vampiric Scepter. We do have Elise going for the Super Penetration build with the Haunting Guys and Sorcerer's Shoes picked up. Looks like Lulu is going to go down here, though Ramus is coming in for a gank. And the question will be, will Corky go down? And it looks like Israel does trade with Corky up here, though Ramus is going to be trading with Shaco. And this looks like it's going to be fairly even, but Akali is going to come in here and clean out from the side. Ultimate by Lulu does do a good job. And it looks like Lulu is going to find the Shaco, but no, Shaco's going to get away. Janna might also get away here, or suicide to the tower. But I don't think she's going to get away. As Lulu is going to pursue her down bottom, though Syndra is here. And that's some nice juking done by the blue team, as they just got away. Looks like Lulu might go down here. 
The Wakali is going to jump in. Will she jump in on Shaco? Yes, she does get Shaco. But Lulu is taken out. And Akali will go down as well. And the blue team comes out way ahead of that fight. They just got a little too greedy. Or they red team got a little too greedy going back in. And they made some real big mistakes. But the problem is Elise is going to take a tower up top. And Zen Zhao can't do anything to stop Elise at this point. So Ramus is going to go die here. He does not have a way to escape. And the blue team is down thanks to that tower up top. And in fact, Elise is leading the game in farm. Syndra is right on her tail, though. Zinzao is going to be trying to pick up this mid tower, and I think he will be able to get it, as Akali is not too fast at the moment. Though Akali has picked up a Sheen in addition to the Hextech Revolver. We do have Ramus going for the Static Shiv, most likely, after picking up that Madrid's Razor. Lulu going for the early Shirley's Reverie, and Zinzao does take down that middle turret. Will he trade his life for it, though? I don't think he will, as Akali does not know where the rest of the blue team is. Score is 13 to 11, with the kills being basically the only difference in the game, as the lanes are farming fairly evenly. It looks like he's just going to be much worse for wear after this, though Lulu does pop the ultimate on herself, but it is not enough as the Ignite finishes Ezreal off. Akali is going to come down bottom, but will Akali be able to get in range? I don't think she will unless she wants to burn Flash, though... Looks like Corky got a little greedy here, and Corky will be taken out. And, uh, yeah, that's just a bit too greedy. It looks like they will try and push this bottom lane. As Ramus has joined up here, but Elise does not see Shaco in that bush in time as he does jump away. Is that, uh, no, they're not going to push that bottom lane. I thought they would, considering they had Ramus and Lulu both down bottom. But instead, Akali's just going to run back. And everyone is going to basically reset at this point as all the lanes have had to go back. And there's no real advantage for either side at this point. And looks like Elise has picked up a Giant's Belt, likely going for the Rylax Crystal Scepter. Ezreal finishing off his Bloodthirster. We do have a Death Cap almost up on Syndra. We have Corky with a Brutalizer and BF Sword going for the Bloodthirster next. Warmonk Fleet on Zin Zhao. Phage and Ruggles Lantern up onto Shaco. And at this point, Ramus is going to come in for another gank. Will he actually try and go under tower here? He just might, as he does run up there with blue buff and flashes in, but not in range. Though he does hit him at the last second. It is just enough. That was really close. Elise has rotated down the mid lane to just push that out. Cinder is not in good shape at this point as she's sitting very low and is forced to go back. This means this tower will go down as Elisa and her spiderlings will tank that up rather nicely. And it looks like the bottom tower will go down as well. This should put the red team in a pretty commanding lead. Though commanding lead is not a big statement at this point as, neither, as both teams have been trading it back and forth. Though Elisa running up top trying to protect her top tower. And will she be able to protect the top tower in time? Yes, I think she is. Zenzao realizes he's in trouble. He does not have the damage to fight Elise up top. But Elise might actually lose that fight. But down in the middle lane, Shaco is getting low and is taken out by Akali. Though she is traded, Shaco is traded for Israel. And it looks like Syndra might go down as well. But will Syndra take anyone with her? She might be taking Akali. But the wild growth does keep her just barely alive. And up top, it looks like Elise and Zen Zhao both decided it's best we just back up. We're both too low. But Elise does get the better of that trade considering she doesn't save her tower. Looks like Ramus is trying to run in here onto Janna. Will he be able to get in range? No, he does not. But Ramus is really fast here thanks to that zeal. And he will likely pick up his static shiv at this point. We have Ezreal going for that frozen, or iceborne gauntlets, excuse me, as he picked up the glacial shroud. Static Shiv completed on Ramis. Looks like Gunblade up next for Akali. Deathcap finished on Syndra. Corky Janna are going to go pick up this dragon, which should about even up the gold lead again if they can get it. But it looks like Ramis is really hungry and running for it. Question is, will he get in range? I don't think he will, unless he can just smite steal it. No, he does not steal it with smite. Though he does taunt 
Ezero does have Corky. Ezero does come in from the back, but they do need to back up at this point. Though it is Corky is down. Will Shaco go down as well? Looks like he just might, as it is a two for two trade, but that is a win for the blue team. As they do pick up Dragon during that whole process, the score is basically even at this point. Despite the fact that the red team has two tower advantages, they have lost the Dragon. Well, the Dragons are actually one to one at this point. But this is a little bit better farming from the bottom lane and the jungle at this point. That's about it. Looks like Akali is going to jump on on Zen's out here. But will she continue to jump? Yes, she will. But as Janna does come in, it's wise to just back up. So Akali will force the flash out of Zen as she does the ignite on Shaco coming up here. And just going to throw his daggers at him. For a little bit of damage. At least coming in from the backside will not be there in time. And she will just be forced to run away. There's no real catching her at this point. Right now it looks like Ezreal is just going to go farm out bottom. And Akali is going to go play it a little aggressively as Janna does steal the blue wraith from her. And Shaco will be jumping in here. The question is will she throw the shout out in time? Yes she does. And even Lulu throwing out the wild growth to make sure that she's safe. Lulu in a bit of trouble here. Will she be able to throw out the glitter lances properly? She does and basically burns her flash there. Though nice use of flash to actually get herself safe. Ram is coming in being a nice distraction. And everyone gets away from the red team. And they were in a terrible position there. As they might have gotten caught out. But they didn't. As Lulu just burned her flash on it. And Zinzao's trying to get this top lane under control. But Elise is just going to jump him and cut him down to half health with the combo. Looks like Ramis is going to be in a bit of trouble here as Israel does take out this fight. But Ramis does have enough tanking to survive. Syndra does throw her combo on Israel, and Israel does live at the last second. And Akali will be able to pick up this kill on Syndra if she has her ultimate cooldown. No, she does not. But Lulu is going to come in here. And everyone lives for both teams. Thanks to a well-placed Shaco box. Though the problem here is Elise is dominating up top. And Corky goes in a little greedily. But Corky will be not trading for Lulu as Lulu's exhaust had just saved her. She had less than 20 hit points after that fight. And that was a little greedy by Corky. Though, he, I guess he thought Lulu had used her exhaust earlier in the fight. And he would have been able to pick up one, possibly two kills there. That was just a little too greedy diving in like that. Especially on Akali, who is incredibly strong and just completed her gunblade. Looks like we do have a Rylize likely going to come up onto Janna. Having picked up the Giant's Belt and Blasting Wand. I'm not sure that's the best choice on hers. You could really use something like the Lock of the Iron Solari or an Aegis of the Legion. Zinzao is likely going for a Tiamat next. I picked up the Double Rejuvenation Beats. We have Shaco going for a Trinity Force, picking up the Phage and Zeal. Syndra has completed her Death Cap and an additional Blasting Wand. We do have Corky with the Brutalizer, Bloodthirster, and likely going to go for a Zeal next. Elise has finished off her Rhyolite's Crystal Scepter in addition to the Haunting Guys and Sorcerer's Shoes. Also likely going for the Abyssal Scepter next, having picked up the Ma the no um, excuse me, Negatron Cloak. We do have Ramus finishing off his Sadic Shiv, Maladrid's Razor, and a Giant's Belt, which means he's just going pure tank at this point with a little bit of damage from that Static Shiv to be a threat. Lulu is about to complete off a Shroya's Reverie in addition to the Sight Stone. And all, interesting enough, going with her boots of mobility. I think Akali is going to go for the Lich Bay next, as she has completed the Sheen and the Blasting Wand for it. Unless she decides to go Death Cap, which I honestly wouldn't complain about a Death Cap choice of this for her. Looks like Elise is fighting 2v1 top, and she is going to be in a bit of trouble as she is knocked up. Though she does dodge the ultimate of Zin Zhao, thanks to a well placed grapple. Though she is going across, and Akali does jump across and finishes off Zen Zhao as the rest of her team is there to back her up. And that is an interesting dive as Ramus jumps over the wall and means Akali will get to finish off Syndra here, making a double kill for Akali. Will Akali continue to jump onto Janna? Yes, he will as Ramus tanks up the tower. And Israel picks up an additional tower there. Triple kill for this Akali. And Akali has gone basically legendary, sitting at 10 2 and 1. And is really the all star of this game. In addition to Elise putting so much pressure on that top lane. Zinzao could never get his roam on. And Zinzao really does do a great job with roaming. And he forced a lot of 
action up top. Where they would have to send someone up there just to kind of help out the land. Usually Shaco or Syndra just to apply a little bit of pressure. And it looks like there will be another Nexus turret going down. Or inhibitor turret, excuse me. But no, they decide to back up as Shaco is split pushing his rear off. And I like this idea from Shaco. If your enemies are going to just group up as five, you can split push, take some towers, and duel anyone they send at you, except maybe Ramus, because Ramus is just way too tanky for you to actually kill. Though he is going to be okay deceiving over the wall. And Ramus does spot him out, which means Shaco is in a bit of trouble. As he will land the powerball and finish him off with the taunt and static ship proc. Looks like Israel is in trouble up top and will go down to Zin Zhao. As Zin is just a little too strong for him. And the sc score right now is 18 to 22 with a 4,000 gold lead for the red team. Even though that lead feels significantly more as most of the deaths are concentrated on Ramis having six of his own and Israel with seven. The rest of his team having a combined total of five. Elise is playing really ballsy here in the mid lane, but I think she can play ballsy at this point. She is in a great position and can easily 2v1, though I don't think she can 2v1 under those Nexus turrets. And she is going to jump here onto Janna as Janna nicely uses that knockback, but also giving her a way to jump away. Though Elise will be going down here as she just gets a little too greedy. Easier has finished off the Iceborne Gauntlets. Ram is going for a Sunfire Cave next. Troy's Reverie up onto Lulu. I, Lich Bane on Akali has been picked up. Riley's Crystal Scepter finished on Janna. Void Staff up on Syndra. We do have the Trinity Force finished on Shaco. We are going to see Corky picking up the Zeal. I'm not sure if you can turn that into a Static Shiv or a Trinity Force at this point. As I think he should have picked up the Black Cleaver earlier. But he's just not living long enough in these fights. And Ramus is getting a little greedy here. Trying to go in there, but he is baiting into Akali, and that is a dead Janna. Looks like he is going to take Dragon for his own, and the red team is pinging for Baron. And let's take a quick look at the gold lead, as we do see Akali leading the way with just about 10,000, and that dragon giving him 10,000. Shaco and Ezreal are going to duke it out, but Ezreal is not going to be able to survive this unless Ramus does land that powerball, but he landed a blind powerball. Which means that Shaco is in a lot of trouble and it saves Ramus and Israel from a painful death. So as you said, Akali is sitting in the lead at 10,000 gold. We do have Elise next up in line with just over 9,000. And the surrender vote does come out. Final score being 19 to 24. And that just came down to Akali and Elise snowballing very, very hard. Elise not able to be even contested in that top lane. And Akali really getting that mid-game snowball out there with 12 of her team's 19 kills. Really being a terror in that mid lane. Here's the gold charts for you and the last bit of items. As nothing new really has been picked up. And Ramus, despite being dead most of the game it felt like, did a pretty good job of just trading his life for others. As he was involved in 16 of his team's 19 kills. Or 16 of his team's 24 kills, excuse me. And that's just a good job of trading your life for kills. Especially on a jungler who's going to be behind a little bit. And not really that important to get farm. Especially a tanky jungler like him. He just needs to stack those defensive stats. And I do like the pick of that static shiv. It was a really good choice. As it allowed him to just put out a little more burst damage. Get in the fights a little quicker. And really do some da damage. Thank you for watching Games Cast by Panda Narill. If you wish to see more, follow my YouTube and Twitch pages below.